Well, here we go. Rogue Legacy 2. I loved the first game um, and have been excited to play this for a long time. It just so happened that the Epic Game Store is running a hell of a sale right now, and uh, they're also giving $10 gift certificates for each purchase, including your first. So now I was able to pick this up for $8. I know it's still in early access, but uh, I, I really wanted to check it out. I'm not terribly far in it. I'm kind of just uh, dipping my toes in the water and seeing what there is to see. Um, and then my plan is to play it once it's fully released. So in this one, uh, you're kind of opening up upgrades and uh, filling out a castle at the same time. Um, I don't know that there's much I can do here at this point because I didn't get a ton of gold. Uh, so we'll just go with that. Okay. Alright. Uh... So similar to last time, there's still an overworld. Uh, I have a funky looking trait right now. Uh, first time I played as this guy, uh, or somebody with this trait specifically, I, I thought it was like a weird, you know, gas issue. But uh, apparently not. I did buy that uh, living chest and he deposits some of the gold that you give to Karen when you uh, head to the dungeon instead of losing everything. So, uh, different classes this time around. This happens to be the Barbarian class. Uh, I quite like it. Um, I'll show off a few of the classes. This time around when you get hit, you can do a recovery jump. Ah, see, there we go. That's one of the things that I was going to mention, uh, as you'll see. It is an extremely tough game. Uh, each character also has magic. I have not seen this spell. This is a first. Oh boy. It's gonna be a rough run. Okay. Uh, the dungeons are randomly generated each time you play, but. The rooms are the same, they just put them in a different order. And this is kind of nice because you can track your uh, progress, including every single time I got hit, which, yeah, it was a lot. Alright, let's go with, uh, let's go with the mage this time. Show him off. Now he's kind of cool because you get in there and when you blast an enemy with magic, he starts to drain their MP uh, so that you can use additional spells, so it's it's pretty cool. Uh, apparently he lives in the shadows. Uh, this is also new to Rogue Legacy. Um, you know, they, they did the type of thing where you can bounce off uh, certain structures. See, so I hit him, and then he's going to recharge my, uh, my MP. I actually like that spell quite a bit, but it's dangerous because you can hit yourself with it. Which is not as true of the other spells. But it's very powerful. I didn't realize I stepped up there. That's helpful. Right, give me 
that magic. of Rogue Legacy. I actually, come to think of it, I played it on Vita. I was uh, one of the happy people living on Vita Island for a while. Yeah, see, that's a good spell to clear out a bunch of guys. You can check me on this, but I th think this game has been out since, I don't know, sometime in October? Well, not bad. And you know, they're doing the thing uh, similar to what they did with uh, Hades at Supergiant, where, you know, they just kind of uh, roll out updates every once in a while. All right, reduce max health by 11 points while Invincible deals 75% more damage. Depart this world, increase your current gold by f I can't read that number. 30%. One life lost. Oh, no, I don't think so. So that just kills you. Alright, that's gonna be a problem. Actually, that went kinda well. Oh, I knew it! going to happen. Now let's go, buddy. I'm actually uh, utilizing a foot pedal, believe it or not, for the jumps. Pick that up. I, uh, routed the space bar to the foot pedal, give my uh, thumb a break, gamer's thumb years ago, and uh, you always kind of have it, I guess, um, so anytime I can reduce the stress on my thumb, I try to do that. never really had an appreciation for additional peripherals until that happened uh, a couple of years ago and it's just neat how you know everybody can be involved all, all different kinds of play styles is what I'm saying uh, I, I feel like this is gonna be a boss Let's see what it says here. Do not leave your queue or you will be arrested. Do not remove the armband or you will be arrested. Do not speak to the estuaries or you will be arrested. There are a lot of uh, arrests happening, but I think this is a new area we're heading into, maybe. You hear a thousand whispers, but you can't make out a voice. All to look around. Left alt. Oh, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe an area they're working on still. I'm not going to jump in that water, though. Now, I will say with Hades, I did play that game in early access. And I felt like it was pretty complete, and I'm sure this is too. Um, but I just kind of made a silent agreement with myself that I was going to wait until this was fully, fully baked. Oops. Okay. Damn it. Alright, let's 
Let's see, can we get a bigger map? Maybe not? Probably can, I just didn't note the button to press. That's okay. Ooh, the Grand Academy. down the uh, other path. So I'll say, you know, it was a long time since um, the last game. Obviously, I mentioned I played it on the Vita. Um, I think this one's harder. I think the jumps are harder. Uh, I think some of the enemies are harder. They really come for you, some of them. This guy, uh, he is, yep. And I mean, feel free with the good goods in the comments. Uh, I'm sure they are warranted. Um, okay, so one of these is going to give us health back. Let's do that. Alright, I haven't been able to nail one of these yet. Oh! Don't! Alright, that's okay. Full life, easy come, easy go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Eight life. So I think, uh, I think the mage is pretty good, actually. Uh, so let's keep going this way. Oh no! Oh boy. Sir Glauber the second has been slain by a burning Ono. Oh I will say though, and, and I know uh, you haven't seen all of the runs that I've done, that is probably the furthest run I've had. Um, I don't think we've done one with the old uh, sword dude, old faithful yet. Let's, uh, let's go with Sir Kenny, and we'll show off this class real quick, let's see if we can buy anything. Uh, let's see, Sand Pits, unlocks Valkyries. Increases mind, raising spell, and talent damage. Um, that would be good. The fruit juice bar. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Finally, some good food unlocks the chef class. Well, that would have been interesting to try out. Um, learn from your ancestors' past mistakes and gain permanent bonuses from for dying. All right, why not? The living totem is a repository for knowledge. Every warrior is bound to him, allowing their final lessons to pass on to others. You now gain mastery XP with each class, gaining enough XP to rank up and earn permanent stat bonuses. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, there he is. 
we got here? Behold, I am the living totem. You are now bound to me. All of your knowledge will be housed within my spirit wood. Gang mastery in one possession is to gang advantages for all. What we share in knowledge makes us strong. That is all. Okay. Are you still here? My monologue is over. I'm bad at idle banter. Okay. Alright. So. Looks like we don't have much to go off of. <laughs> Right, we're gonna toss some gold in there. Not bad. The uh, living chest also claims to be an accountant. I can believe that. All right. Now, one time I played as this, as this character, the trait I had was that the sword was extra sharp or something. Where you know, every time I ran into something. Ah, uh, this is going to go well, as far as the start. Well, I do like this spell. Basically, have a flamethrower. Okay. class that I probably won't show that I have unlocked is an archer. And, uh, it's pretty okay. You know, you can kind of take your time and, and do the distance thing. Oh, we know this room from last time. Uh, but I, I found him to be just okay. jump on them in the future and you don't have to do the uh, juggle jump. Good thing there's no fall damage. Well, let's just go there. This looks like it could be good. You hear a thousand whispers, we can't make out a voice. So there's gotta be maybe an item that we need to uh, make that do something. Reduce max health by 20 points. Your weapon deals 100% more damage, but has a two second cooldown. Reduce max health by 20 while invincible. Yep. None of those sound good right now. Oh, you know. Uh, we're gonna pass on that. Holy gods. Oh, well, you know, hey. 
if you gotta go out on one, that's a that's a good way to do it. Like I say, I'm I'm still getting used to this foot pedal deal. Um, wow. Yeah. So it's a harder game for sure. Um, feel free to uh, combat me on on that thought. Um, but this one's good. Like I say, I'm probably gonna put it down for now and just let them uh, fully bake the game. Uh, they just rolled out this Far Shores update, uh, which might even refer to that water area that we were at briefly, uh, where it didn't look like there was anywhere to go. It kind of dead-ended, but anyways, um, hope this helped give you a feel for the game. Um, I think if you were interested, you could probably still nab it for eight dollars um, as long as you get the ten dollar gift card on the epic store i think it's going to be far worth it um it's a good preview for me and i don't know when it's going to be uh released fully my guess is probably sometime first or second quarter uh but something to look forward to all right well you all take care thanks for watching